in the process of building my first empire. Yes, first because I want to build more. Last episode, we built this ruined castle and I'm super in love with it. And we have this statue of a dragon, which I think I'm going to take it down. And we have this area where there is an entrance for a dungeon. And I have my iron farm underneath here. Just from building, the iron farm produced so much of iron. If you think this is how much it produced or this, you're very wrong. Look at this. So let's just take uh, maybe five blocks and put them in my ender chest. So today in that spot, I'm going to build the castle of this empire, which is called the Wolford. Why Wolford? The main character for this empire is wolves. We have a wolf here guarding the, uh, what is this? The armor shop. We have a wolf here as well. This is library. This is Coda. And yes, this is my library. And this is Wolford. It's looking so good, I know. Except two things there in the ocean needs to move there is a lot of buildings here in the village and every building structure is guarded by a wolf so if you name like more than two or three it's gonna be so much helpful and the wolves will be happy i mean if you want to make a wolf happy just drop a name it's night let's go to sleep and then we will start planning for the castle my castle that i've designed is very very big and large it's gonna oh my gosh take a lot of time maybe another month to be organized and productive, I have a book, which I put down all the things that I'm going to do with materials and everything. So, so this episode is going to be good, I guess. Hopefully not very much pain. First thing first, I need to go to the nether and upgrade my pants because it's the very last thing that I need to upgrade to netherite and I'm going to be fully upgraded. Oh, maybe my chest plate too? Oh, I need two netherite ingots. Okay. I am back with exactly eight ancient debris with a lot of gravel i collected every gravel i see in my way and some gold of course now let's put them to smelt let's go to my armor shop because the floor is this station that feels so good i am full netherite from armor and tools maybe my sword no but i really don't care next thing on the list is to take this part of the mountain or this hill all down so i can have a proper path from the gate to the other gate of the castle and for that i need my beacon i do have it in my under chests i'm pretty sure yeah let's put it down so that part may be not reachable oh i need a lot of terrain fixing let's build the beacon take down this mountain and fix the terrain let's go Currently, I'm fixing my sick touch pickaxe because I accidentally broke my two ender chests. And normally, I don't craft them, I just collect them from the end, the end cities. But today, I guess I'm gonna craft them because I really don't wanna go to the end just for ender chests. I think that's enough because the next thing we're gonna do, I'm not gonna use my pickaxes, I'm gonna use my shovel because we're gonna make the path. Okay, let's put you back, I don't need you, and finish you while i'm here i have a big mess in my storage it's not actually a very big mess because i kept it organized the whole way so i can transform it easily in my storage so let's do that stuff is organized and now let's craft two eye of ender to make the ender chests you kids night yes let's go to sleep since my bed is just up here i need some cursed dirt one two three four five six seven eight let's take eight and this is hopefully is more than enough next i need some rooted dirt some spruce slabs and stairs let's make just more in case all right i feel like that's all i need now for the path oh before i make the path i actually need to make a bridge over the river this is my gate let's open it it's a working gate which makes me super super happy okay not that button yeah I think that's a good bridge. It's a little bit wonky, but exactly what I want always. Let's fix this side. Mix the new path with the old path. For the rooted dirt, I'm thinking having them on the edges only. So maybe like 
to that and the rest which is the middle can be first dirt this one needs to go and for the rest can go back to grass this part of the village it's been bugging me for so long and i'm happy now i'm gonna fix it and i'm not gonna talk about this side this is another level it's fixed i don't like tall grass that much so let's just leave one okay the bridge is actually looking super good and it's very cute not gonna lie and it is workable and yes i can go through very easy over the river so it's starting from here then i really wanted to curve it to this side curve back so i can meet this hill so this point is gonna be where we go up and from here maybe i'm gonna make a another hill to cover all this mess goes like that and then we just go this way a little bit curved i think the path now looks good can i close the gate without being in it oh i can oh that was super cool i'm gonna fix this part where it curves here to go something like that is actually better i think that is much better Okay, the path is complete and I'm so happy how it turned out. I blended some bushes, flowers, even some wheat over there and bone meal the rest. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Let me show you my favorite part, which is this curve right here. I love it. And I left the trees here and here so we have a more aesthetic walk here from the village to the castle now we are done with the path let's move on to the next thing i really want to see the path in the maps every time even if it's a small thing i love to see it in the maps okay we can see the path it's looking good i need to really make this map bigger pretty much we are going so far fast with this project and for every project obviously we need the space so this tree needs to go so let me clear um a big space because the car is gonna be big this much space is enough if not it's easy to take down trees along the way while i'm building and taking down this forest benefits me a lot spruce wood i need it so much as you can see this empire uses it a lot i mean i use it for the walls and mostly everything it's taiga by him so i'm just um keeping the theme going oh and i did not use any torches which means let's go back and light the area this mini hut mod is very useful forest gave me this much of wood which is actually plenty and i already have a lot from building the village what i want to do now is not start with the castle yet because i want to have something in the village done what i want is a field this field i wanted to completely do it and fill this area with the rest of aesthetic things for the village so um i'm thinking of a field of wheat so we can match what we have over there there in the barn i'm using these dark oak leaves but i don't think i do have enough yeah i don't have dark oak okay luckily i do have this tree chopping area here and it's full with dark oak trees and let's not be lazy and take these trees down as well honestly it's very relaxing collecting wood from this area it's so beautiful I built this very early in the game, in the very first days, and I'm actually so glad because I use it so much. It's safe, of course, for this easy trees like dark oak, oak, birch, and all the stuff, but not mangrove. Mangrove, it's very difficult. Anywho, let's take the trees and stop talking. Another important thing I need in my fields is some bee nests. Not beehives, I do have sick touch 
axe and I do have a campfire. I think that's all I need. Maybe I don't need the campfire though. Hello, B. Where is your home? Finding Venus is so difficult, honestly. You cannot see it when you're flying. You need to be walking. I see one and some beautiful flowers, which I will take. Oh, no. Now I need to wait. Oh my gosh, three times? Night, can you come quickly? Where's the sun? I can't see the sun. What? Don't I have a sun in my world? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we have it. We have it. We have it. Let's go. Yes. Yes, I can hear them. Let's fix this tree. Oh, do not fight me. You are next. Go, go, go. Let's go. This is our fourth. Seven Venus is actually more than enough. I don't think I'm gonna use them all, but having extra for the future is always helpful. The rest materials I have in my storage. So let's just grab them and start the field. This area has been upgraded and now we have a big field of wheat, carrot, and a potato. This small side has carrots and this side, the big one, has potatoes because I do have more potatoes than carrots. The bees are so lovely here on the field. It's so much alive. And I have this path in the middle. Beautiful. And I went ahead and did more actually. I made this path and I made this little patch of blueberries or sweet berries and I made this i am happy i am super excited more now to update the map every time the path looks like i've created a circle honestly i thought it would look much more beautiful in the map but no anyway there is a big list now to collect of materials for the castle let's focus on the main project i need 86 stacks of dark oak let's collect what we have in the storage as well as the wood storage in this building oh it's so little oh my gosh and it's not one chalker box full i'm gonna collect dark oak from here this is more practical After the dark oak, I carried on collecting the rest of the materials, which I have listed them in four lists. Starting off with the wood, dark oak, two choco boxes of spruce, and another one of mangrove, which I have the farm, so that was very easy. Next is the rocks, andesite, cobblestone, stone, couple deep slate, deep slate, and one stack of tuff. The third list is about the nether. Basalt, netherrack, glowstone, shroom lights. The very last, the wheat, amethyst, charts, glass, and then the very last thing is glow lichen. I think this is the first time I collect this much of materials. In order to build the castle, I need a flat surface. And I need it to be higher so we can see the castle from everywhere. it's over and now i want to work towards the entrance so let's uh, expand this path we can have a path going up to where i want the stairs for the entrance i'm thinking of changing to mud like a dirt path but expensive you know what i mean in the edges here i want to have dark oak logs but stripped on top of this stripped dark oak let's add some slabs time for the castle Nearly three hours working on this and honestly, it is very good. But does it worth three hours? I don't know. And keep in mind, I use the easy mode from Lymatica. This is not the castle. 
this is just one part it's gonna have something very important in it later i'm gonna add it this is the door this is the entrance to the castle which is gonna be the great hall and the thrones we're gonna have a throne for the queen and the king of course this portion of here you see is open it's gonna have another structure as almost this one the base of this building is out of cobblestone and andesite and yellow glass windows just like what we have been using in the village as an example this is a library i want things to look along together i added the deep slate in the very bottom it's so huge so obviously we need more support above the entrance we have these two balconies which they are closed by using the dented glass basically this is just uh, an effect those gold blocks obviously need some banners by the way i added that detail over there which makes it really really medieval i think this side i added this tower which on top of it there is a balcony door there is one issue about this building which is this big roof is very very dangerous i need to light it up before continue building the castle i want to do something very special it's gonna make it fun for the time lapse i really want a tree here this place is gonna be the garden in the future so i want a big tree over here only halfway done and this looks super amazing and if you are not impressed with the tree impressed now this tower looks super cool even though it looks like a face like a very funny face from here from the path this looks so epic now let's focus on the other side which is this part over here i'm gonna first start working on this big gap over here so another time lapse yeah why not This building gave me the feeling of that assignment when you build your first building and you cannot wait for the morning to come to finish it. And it's raining, which I really love raining. And this building is something. And I cannot believe I'm starting to make my dream come true, which is making an empire. And those guys, yes, I decided to make them guards. And honestly, at this point, I don't know what to do with the rest of the terraforming because I lost it. This building really consumed me. Rain, can you stop, please? I want to take this farm down and replace it or rebuild it there in the castle so we have an excuse to visit the castle sometimes you know that's exactly what i did for this building yes it's very small but now it's very useful this one we have the glue lichen farm this is a new farm that i tried it and honestly it's not bad it's very easy to make i need just to change this block to obsidian it's night so i can sleep and the rain can go away Let's open the gate. This is so epic. Now over the bridge, through the path to the castle. Here we are. Through the great entrance to a great hall, which is... Does not exist yet. I have missed a block over there. Yep. And I missed two blocks over here. This bridge is something new to me. Honestly, I'm not very happy with it. I use the mangrove leaves and I use the mangrove trapdoors and slabs. Because mangrove is the treasure of Wolford. I need a door through here. Yeah, there is a lot I need to do. But this is for later. Now move on to the next side. Which is two towers. One it's exactly like the other one. So I'm not going to explain it. And one super tiny and super cute. And honestly, this one is exactly the same like that one over there. The bridge again is the same. I'm not very happy because the roof is flat. There is two things missing for this castle. A glow lichen for a lighting here in the bottom, which I feel like it's gonna look so cool. It will not destroy my building. How oh, you guys do spawn here? Oh, I can fix this. Yep. Anywho, so we have a balcony there and there in the roof. We have this 
landing spots and we have one two windows this part alone has two landing spots this chimney is cool because i just kept the same design from the village over there i used this design there you can just see a glimpse of it yeah this one since this is so much taller it looks weird everything is fixed now there is one more thing left for this building which requires a creeper head yeah i'm gonna have a very cool design which again it requires a creeper head that i cannot obtain right now the banners will not just be in here they will be in that bridge over there as well in that bridge over there both sides too and with that the castle is done and i will show you now with some shaders after i take those scaffolding by the way these two pigs we have one here and the other one is just roaming around here somewhere they came here by their own which means they want to be part of this i'm glad to have them so maybe we will have a little sanctuary for them especially for the uh, queen and the king you know they eat pork fancy oh my gosh this looks so cool and this is not the best view on top of this tree look at that from the village this looks so amazing oh my gosh we're gonna deal with the snow now my world is really starting to come together exactly how i want it to empires ruins dungeons and all the stuff like everything you can think of i want here in my world this mountain is gonna be transformed this land is gonna be all farms and some maybe farmhouses and stuff it's gonna be cool and this is the spawn here exactly in these trees so we're gonna transform this as well for something very cool and we have these ruins here on top of this cool mountain basically a perfect world i guess what i'm going to do now is obviously call it for today for me and for you and between the episodes i'm gonna definitely and i have to and i must change the place of this farm i need to take it down and rebuild it here inside the castle don't you worry it's not gonna be inside of it it's gonna maybe be in the ground so we can have a great hall thrones thank you so much for watching and please let me know all your suggestions because i will happy to hear from you guys okay I hate endermans. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to support me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.